hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be showing you how to clean your altar and why you should so firstly you want to remove everything off of your altar have a clean slate as you can tell my altar is very cluttery i have my tarot i have my herbs i have my florida water i have my oils and when I do work at my altar, I tend to just leave things there and it keeps piling up. So this is a perfect time to reorganize, remove things that do not need to be on your altar and make it more simple. So here, everything is cleared off of my altar, and now you can see all of the ashes, the herbs, and though you can't see it, there is a lot of ash that is black on the table. You'll see. So to start off, I'm using my Huggies wipes to wipe down the altar or I mean, my altar, wipe it all down, all the dust, all the herbs, all that excess oil that I use when I'm using my altar or working on my altar, it's very messy. It doesn't seem like it, but it really is. And I do use a lot of candles, and I do use a lot of sage, also Palo Santo, so... The ash accumulates over time. I like to triple clean my altar just to be sure that all that black ash and the oil and the herbs are completely gone. I like to have a very clean and tidy altar when it's time to clean it. That's just my preference. It's really good to clean your altar for so many reasons. So now I'm going to start off with the Florida water. I'm going to take my wipe. I'm going to splash the Florida water on the actual altar. So I'm going to splash it all over so I can cleanse and purify and remove any energy that I do not want there. So that is what the Florida water does. It gives it a clean and fresh space. You can't see it clearly, but this oil is called Higher Wisdom by House of Hoodoo. I'll link her down below. She's amazing. But the reason why I anoint my altar with this Higher Wisdom intention oil is to make sure and to also amplify my spiritual space to make sure that it's not only high vibrational but that there is high wisdom in my work as well. Here, I'm using Better Business. You can't see it clearly because I obviously cannot record correctly, but the reason why I'm using Better Business from House of Hoodoo is to attract better business to my apothecary. This is where I create my spiritual beauty apothecary items and products. And of course, as I create them, I also want to have a better business. And this does the job. Here, I'm just blessing it and praying over it. Now, I'm using my protection intention oil. This protection intention oil, 
I sell it, and it's in my Spiritual Beauty Apothecary. I anoint my altar, particularly this altar, because I do my work in it, and I do my products. I use it to make sure that nothing low vibrational, negative, evil, whether it's energy, spirits, forces of any kind, manipulate my work or take any effect. This oil is very strong and it's very powerful. Next, I'm going to cleanse with my Palo Santo. Palo Santo is one of my favorite cleansing supplies to cleanse me, my home, my altar. My Palo Santo wasn't lighting up, so I decided to light a candle and use a flame on that. That did the job. This candle that I'm using to light up my Palo Santo is the most beautiful and long-lasting candle. I got it from one of my small business local owners here and I'll link her Instagram below. So now I'm going to finish and continue cleansing my altar with my Palo Santo. The one thing I love about Palo Santo is it not only cleanses and purifies any low vibrational negative spirits and energy and entities, it also does attract positivity. And that's why I really love Palo Santo. Now this baby is called Sweetgrass. I love, love, love sweetgrass. Sweetgrass is known for bringing in positivity, sweetness, positive thoughts, and it's also used by the Native Americans here in the Americas. That's how I first was introduced to sweetgrass. I was skimming through a YouTube video of Native Americans and I noticed that they were using this braided herb or this braided not too sure what to call it but I was intrigued and I learned more about it and I thought okay I'm going to use this So now I'm just massaging my altar, making sure that all of the oils and the Florida water are intertwining together and being smooth and also that my altar isn't too oily because sometimes I overly oil it. So here I'm just putting my essentials that I use when I do my magic, when I use my altar, which is a lot. So this is the full moon, the blue full moon water that I purchased from Mel's Magic. She is a friend of mine that also has her own spiritual shop on Instagram. She's amazing. What, I'm, what I have right there, the blue liquid is called indigo water. That's a very protective liquid. You can put it on your floor wash to protect your home. Just be careful because the blue does stain. And then I'm just putting back all the essential supplies that I use on every day or on a daily basis for my spiritual uh, meditations, my work, my self-care um, spiritual work, and just all of that. So this here is my peace water. It's available on my Spiritual Beauty Apothecary shop on Instagram. This peace water is very potent and a very protective uh, supply or tool. It not only is a protective 
properties, but it also has peaceful properties to keep your altar and yourself at peace with tranquility and calmness and other things that I'll get into detail later in a different video. Now I'm putting my crystals down and for my crystals, I usually cleanse them during the full moon or new moon. I splash a little Florida water on them and put them under the new moon or full moon to amplify and renew their properties. So that's why I'm not doing it when I'm cleaning my altar. This uh, Rachel True Intuitive Heart Tarot is amazing. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I just posted something. I love her tarot cards that she just came out. I connected with them so quickly and my intuitive side just opens up when I use these tarot cards. So now I'm putting my oils back and trying to organize them in a more <laughs> structured, organized way. This spray, I got it from um, Rare Rebel. I'll link her, her shop down below too. She has an SG shop. She's another spiritual um, store that I purchase. She's amazing as well. So now let's go over some of the reasons why you should clean your altar. One of the main reasons that I think you should clean your altar is if you work with specific deities, orishas, gods, or goddesses, out of respect for them, you do want to work with them with a very clean and tidy and you know simplistic altar. Um, that's one of the reasons why I think you should clean your altar. Another reason is cleansing the energy for a more renew and refresh space. So there can be a clean slate when you work on your magic. I think every so often the energy can sometimes be stagnant or it can just be all mumble jumble. Uh, cleaning it and cleansing it and organizing it can make the space more flowing and more positive. Another reason is when you work your magic, you want to be organized and you want to be tidy. I think people work best when their space is organized and tidy. And also you, another reason, the fourth reason is also you want to Make sure that there's no debris. Like I mentioned before previously, all the dust, all the ashes, all the oils, and all the herbs that I particularly work with all the time, they're all over the place. So now that my altar is clean, I hope you guys enjoyed my video on how I clean my altar and why you should clean it. I hope you enjoy this video, and I want to apologize for my kids' toys you'll see on the corner. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Bye.